I'm back! Did you miss me? I'm back from shooting Carmilla with one of my favorite humans, who you might know. This gal, Elise Bauman. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello there. We just made a movie. We did just make a movie. We just made a movie. Well, we shot a movie and now a bunch of people are gonna like make it into a movie. Yeah, that's we true. Just, we just did some stuff. Did some stuff on a Camera movie. Camera captured it. It's happening. It's real. <laughs> uh, but we just wrapped about a week ago mm -hmm. and I was just wondering, how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel weird. It's weird to be done. It feels like yeah. your whole life is in this very small little pocket of a world where you're you know, every single moment of every single day is dedicated to this thing, and then yeah. all of a sudden, it's just done. Back to life. Back, Back to, re to reality. <laughs> I was gonna sing a different song, but then I caught on. Oh, what are you gonna sing? Back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oh. Oop, there goes gravity. You would rap. Anyway. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How was filming the movie different from filming the series for you? You know, I thought it was going to feel more different than it did. Yeah, me too, actually. I thought that there was going to be a... It's like, oh, we have so much time, it's great. No, no. It was still a, a marathon. Yeah, yeah. The way I described it it, it, it sort of felt like the first three seasons were boot camp and felt like us training, and then this was running a marathon. I reached out to the fans on our Twitter feed, at kind of TV underscore, for some questions. Um, about what filming the movie was like, and we're gonna do our best to answer them without oh. giving away any spoilers. spoilers. I wake up pretty early, and I have my coffee, and then I poop as I like read through. Lucky you. <laughs> I have to make sure I wake up very early and give myself some time, or it's just not happening that That's day. That's what I need to do. I, I go through what we're filming that day, and I try and I, I write out a list of all the circumstances that happen in every scene, so um, when we shoot out of order, I can be like, okay, so we're filming this today, all this has already happened. Mm -hmm. And then if we've already filmed something in that time period, I'm like, what actually happened when we filmed it? I do an exercise called relaxation, where I try and find the tension in my body and release it, and then figure out kind of like, what's the, like, what is that tension? What, what am I trying to hold in there? And check in with myself about where am I actually at today? What's actually going on with me? And then I usually bike to work. So good. I do not wake up that early. I try to get as much sleep as possible. <laughs> also and important. And I love going to set because I can roll out of bed and then there's coffee and hair and makeup <laughs> at work. Um, no, it's funny, I tried to get rid of some of my rituals, not intentionally, but I feel like I approached the movie a little bit differently than I did the series. That's because good, yeah. When I was doing the series, I would write out all of my lines and all of my cue lines like the night before, I would type them out because we had to memorize so much. Yeah. And it was so quick that I would like do that. I have a lot of favorite parts about working with Natasha. What? What? <laughs> One of my favorite parts about working with Natasha is how dedicated she is to the fan base and the story. Like, she's so, you're so committed to mm. what the story is. Like, what are we telling? And mm -hmm. how is this going to affect people? And you're you're so aware of, um, you know, like, that the story means something to people. And so you always bring that with you to set every day. Like, you're, yeah. you're so connected to telling this story for a bigger reason than us just being actors on set. Thanks, Dan. Well, one of my favorite things about working with you is how willing you are to work outside of work hours. So I really love that I can just be like, hey, do you want to do some scene work? And you'll just like bike on over to my place. <laughs> uh, or we'll just like meet up in a park. I think we just both appreciate how generous we get to, to be with each other. Yeah. And not take it for granted. I, I think I have to, I, I can't take that for granted. A lot of actors, yeah. You know, you just don't have time or, you know, you don't know the person as well. And Yeah, and I really love, that. like, if I'm not feeling focused on set, because I'm hearing, like, you know, crew talk or something like that, that I can just zone into you and be like, hey, and then we'll just talk to each other in character. Yeah. In between scenes. Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, just kind of, like, play pretend yeah. like her kids just to, like, get back into it. Yeah. So I really love that. Yeah, I love that too. I would say, yeah, there are, because I think, there are like the key moments where we know it's a special moment and like we mm. know it's in the script, but I also feel like they've been together for so long that, yeah. and we're so comfortable with each other that yeah. like for sure. 
I think, yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Like, it's they've been in a relationship for five years. Not every kiss is gonna be some like grand romantic thing. It's exactly. Like, so I feel like we definitely added oh, we some just, in yeah. for just what felt right in the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I did not. First year. Yeah, buddy. The new cast members were amazing. I feel like we just invited the most wonderful people into our little family. Um, I can't really give away too much about their characters, I don't yeah. think, at this point. But I'm just gonna say all of them are so brilliantly cast and were, are, I mean, are such fantastic, fantastic actors. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just really fit with us. We all got along super well. And this isn't even like my PC PR <laughs> answer. This is like a real genuine answer. Like yeah. I loved working with all, all three of yeah. them. They were just so lovely. Um, Dominique in particular, I had like the most scenes with and one-on-one -on -one scenes with and um, she was just such a generous actor and we really like hit it off right off the bat. So I'm just so excited to, to share their characters with the world and I yeah. hope that everybody likes them as much as we did. Yeah. This is my favorite question ever. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, super gay. Hella gay. Super gay. <laughs> Kristen Stewart. That's wearing amazing. flannel, driving a Subaru to a Tegan oh and Sarah God. concert. I'd say that's how gay the movie is. Super gay. Super gay. I think, you know, they've been in a relationship for five years, which is a pretty long time. Um, mm. I think they've, they're still themselves in the relationship. They're just a little bit better at communicating, even mm. though that's something that I don't think is ever gonna be perfected with anyone. I'm still working on that with all of my friendships and all of my relationships. Um, but I think they are are better at communicating yeah. and um, and saying what is really going on. Mm -hmm. um, although it takes a little bit of pulling away the curtain a few times. For both, for, sure. for both of them, I think, where for it's sure. like, oh, it's about this, but it's not about that. You know when you argue with someone and it's never about the thing that you're arguing about? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Because it's always about something else. Yeah, I, I think that's a great answer. I mean, I think they're just even more comfortable with each other than they were before. I think that there's still a lot of, like, passion. I'm, I, I don't want to say, like, oh, the lust is gone, because no, that's not the case at all. Mm -hmm. I think they still are very, like, physically affectionate with each other, but it's in, a, like, a different way now, too. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, it's not new anymore, and so I, I really had to think about that when we were acting together and think, like, oh, yeah, it's been five years, yeah. so they're still affectionate with each other, but it's in a much more, like, kind of, like, domestic, like, warm way where mm -hmm. sometimes when people are I, I feel like when you first sleep with someone for the first time you might be sleeping together but you're not necessarily like touching or interacting all the time yeah in ways that are just like hugs or like cuddling yeah. and things like that so it was really nice to explore that aspect of their relationship as well yeah it's always those little little scenes yeah that don't have much dialogue and that are like walk from this line to that line. Scenes that are not even like the most important <laughs> scenes in the film always take the most oh, the worst. Like how do I walk like a human? <laughs> Walking through a space. Yeah. And also like Spencer's a very detailed oriented mm -hmm. director which I think makes him so talented. Um, so he has very like specific ideas about what certain shots should look like. So sometimes it's as simple as just like picking something up. Like he'll make you do it like 10 yeah. times. Um, and then on some of our more dramatic scenes, there were one is still. Yeah. Like we had coverage, so we got to do it more than once, but really it was like one take for you, one take for me, right, or yeah, like yeah. two takes yeah. for you, two takes for me. Like we yeah. didn't really have a lot of time on those. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for fan questions. Um, but I also wanted to know what your hopes for the movie are. My hopes and dreams. Your hopes my and hopes dreams. My hopes and my dreams for the film. Um, I just want people to um, to relate to it and to find things out about themselves and maybe start looking at their relationships in their life in a new light, in a new way. Just to learn things from, from it. I learned so much yeah. from it, from the relationship between our two characters, Me too. from other people's friendships and relationships yeah. in the movie. Um, 
And I hope if people watch it with their friends or parents who might be a little bit hesitant about them being queer mm -hmm. or, or things like that, I really hope that it does open some doors and change some, some people's minds when they, they get to see queer heroes and even, you know, and, and diverse heroes as, as well. Um, and I just hope people enjoy it. I hope they it makes them happy. Okay, describe the movie in three words. Go. Okay. Um, Relationships. Fear. Mm. And forgiveness. Mysterious. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic. Mm -hmm. And drive. Mm. Yes. Or like yes. driven. I like those. You'll see. You'll why. see. Well, thank you so much for coming on the channel and ah, thanks for having me. Talking about this awesome thing that we made. I know it's so great. It's so great to like <sighs> be here with you again. And I'm like, ah, what did it was? It's been a week. I miss you. I know. I know. I'm like, no, leave me. <laughs> I thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because we'll be releasing tons of videos about the Carmilla movie. Um, you can also pre-order it online if you haven't already at VHX, which would be cool, because then you can see it as soon as it comes out. And uh, that's it, that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. Keep it kind of classy. Wink. <laughs>